Kelsey, Asia, Jackie, we'll begin first question, last row center. Andy Amashta, Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, for Aja and Kelsey, just what went wrong in that first quarter from your guys' perspective? You tell, you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess they were watching it with his plan. Right. I mean, defense. Defense. Yeah. We just were not locked in on the defensive end. We were a step slow on the defensive end, and uh, that fuels our offense. So we have to be more locked in on the defensive side more than anything. Uh when you're playing against a team like Khan. Uh, and so for us to come out and lack that, uh, it was going to be a long game for us, regardless of who we played. Next question, the first row to your left. Uh, Asia, how different did they look? It was so early in the game, but that first time out, how different did they come out of that first time out there? They're home, the momentum swinging. It's, it was nothing different. It was just energy, energy-wise. We lacked that. I think that, and I'm going to take a full accountability of that we like energy at the end of the day and, and you need that coming into a road game like this uh with the first road game and they just had more energy than us they were they look new they look fresh uh, I think that was the biggest difference they just came out and, and wanted it more and we can't be like that I don't care what game it is we can't be like that at all next question third row center Hey, Asia, right here. Um, I'm curious how you would characterize how John Quell played tonight and what maybe looked different for her. John Quell played like John Quell. Like, she's an MVP. She played exactly how she's supposed to play. Uh, we're not, I'm not going to take anything away from her. She dominated the game the way that she should, and I don't know why people forget, but she is an MVP. Like, she's that <laughs> for a con, and, and she played exactly how she needed to play for her team to get a win. Fourth row, fourth row to your left. Hi, uh, just wondering if you could talk about Alyssa Thomas and her versatility and kind of how does her versatility uh, make it hard for her to defend? You want me to answer that? Yeah, uh, I mean, she can, um, she got into the high post tonight and really did a lot of damage. I mean, she, she hit her shots and then obviously we started stepping up so she was finding her teammates. Um, everyone on their team shot great uh and you know when she gets the ball in there um it's tough and you know when she rebounds she gets it out in transition and she's able to get downhill and make plays for her team and she played great tonight thought she played with a ton of energy um and we didn't match that yeah i'll turn to zoom for a couple of questions uh we'll start with rafiq then steven rafiq go ahead this is Ralph Fee, but not to but that sports talk. How, how tough was it to guard Alyssa Thomas tonight when she gave up, when she had the first WA Finals triple double? Question goes to Kelsey Plum. I mean, I'm I'm not guarding her, so I don't know if I can really attest to that. I mean, as a team, I feel like, um, you know, we were doing defensively different, different schemes. They adjusted. Um, I don't think that we adjusted as well as we could have. Um, but again, like, they got to the 50-50 balls, physicality-wise. We didn't match that. Like I said earlier, the energy that they played with, specifically Alyssa Thomas, um, she beat us to a lot of those balls, and that's on us, and that'll be fixed for Sunday. Next question will come from Steven. Hey, ladies, this question is for Kelsey Plum. So, Kelsey, you guys, it seems like it was a little bit stagnant as far as moving the ball out of the traps compared to games one and game two. Uh, can you speak to what you felt like you saw? What was the reasoning behind that and how you guys will adjust to that in game four? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they really trapped Chelsea hard and uh, we didn't do a great job. Personally, me, like figuring out, you know, getting to those outlets. Becky calls it a 0.5 pass. So making a decision in 0.5 seconds, um, like the ball stuck a lot. And that was my fault. Picked up my dribble a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you got to give credit to their defense. They were super aggressive and they, they full rotated. They, they met us hit like the third pass. And, uh, you know, we just didn't keep the ball moving. And, you know, that's on me. I'll go back and watch the film and be better for Sunday. The next question will come from the first row to your right. Uh, Doug Feinberg, the AP. Jackie, that first quarter you were hitting threes galore and that got the team going. Just talk about offensively how you play tonight and, and defensively. These things are fixable for Sunday, that energy as opposed to like schemes that weren't working. 
I mean, yeah, I think I just did what I was supposed to do. Uh, knock down the open shots. They were leaving me open. I just have to step into it with confidence um, and make the shot. Um, I mean, on the defensive side of things, we'll make a few adjustments. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we made it We made it too easy for them. Uh, they're a physical team, and so we just have to master physicality and energy. Kelsey, Asia, Jackie, thank you. We waited for that. Fun. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.